and I am an undergraduate engineering student studying in National Institute of Technology, Durgapur. So today I am going to speak about my GSOC 2000 pro 2016 project that I did with Public Lab and some methods that we designed for making software outreach. So a little about Public Lab. Public Lab is a community and a non-profit democratizing science to address environmental issues. We make some uh, low-cost DIY techniques to analyze environmental data and make it accessible to uh, common people to use it. Here are some tools and techniques we have developed, like the time-lapse script, a spectrometry, and uh, using balloon and kite mapping, and dust vino, and multispectral imaging. Uh, we basically uh, take very common materials that are available, like some uh, CD or uh, wooden uh, equipments and just make it out so that it can be easily accessible to common people. And here is some public software that we use for analyzing those data. Like uh, uh, Plots2 is the basically the main content management system of publicdrive.org. Uh, it is basically a uh, research based content management system so that we can uh, write down research content. Spectral Workbench is a project that is used to analyze spectrum data that we get from any spectrometer. And map connector is used for designing local maps on, on a community. And WebJack is a project uh, that defines, uh, that is used to uh, directly transfer audio data from the, uh, some, some microcontroller like Arduino to, to directly a web browser. And there is infra Infragram. So let me start with, out with my GSOC project that I worked during this summer. Uh, that is the plots to CMS. Uh, the plots tool is actually the main content management system of publiclab.org. It is a uh, research-based content management system which is designed in Rails. So, giving a brief on it, uh, it uses a software software stack. Uh, the backend is on Ruby on Rails, and the frontend that is the design is a Bootstrap-based design. And uh, we use a separate module uh, of Node.js for uh, making the uh, editor content. So, here are the key features of uh, plots tool. Uh, what you uh, what you see is what you get in markdown based editor a wiki editing and revision tracking system a tagging and tag based uh, organization system a question and answer system and activity and upgrade gits so uh, the last point activity and upgrade gits is a very important feature of plots too that is uh, using some small uh, parts of code like uh, suppose you want to post a activity of a spectrometry so you just write activity spectrometry and it will link to all those research notes that are uh, related to spectrometry in that content management system. So we are uh, now trying to modularize the code a bit. So we have uh, separate projects of the editor, like uh, where you write your research content. We have shifted it to a separate project on, uh, on GitHub in other uh, GitHub projects, like the public lab editor and the inline markdown editor. So uh, what's unique about this project that uh, separates it out from other content management system. So it is the power tags. So power tags is the most powerful feature of the CMS. So uh, basically, power tags are very co common tags that are used uh, anywhere in the uh, uh, content management systems. But uh, they use a special format that is a key value format. The key explains the feature you are explaining. Suppose you want to uh, want to write a question and have some extra features. So we have specially designed a power tag for question. Whenever you put a uh, tag such as question colon some name, so it uh, differentiates it from a different normal research note, and it labels it as a question. And there are other features like creating events. Suppose you want to uh, add an event or you, you want to add a date uh, to a research note when you have posted, and it shows out a calendar. So just add a event colon the date tag, and it shows out a calendar beside the event. And some suppose you want we have a map based content on that too. Suppose uh, you are posting a research note on uh, some location, some location-specific content. So you just give the latitude colon the latitude uh, coordinates and longitude colon longitude coordinates, and it just displays a map on the research note. And there are uh, activity and upgrades that, that I have told earlier. Uh, you just put a, a tag like a, uh, uh, something activity colon the name, just in your editor. Means these uh, this is this is a special kind of power tag that is used. The, these are known as inline power tags. So uh, whenever you are writing a content, suppose you want to post or show a table of other contents that are related to that, you can just put a uh, inline power tag like activity some the activity name, and it just lists out the, all the uh, content related to it in tabular format in that. 
Okay, so now I'm going to speak about some software outreach uh, techniques that were developed during uh, my DSOC days. So uh, when I started contributing to open source, my pers some personal experience, I found uh, I found it hard to find communities that are really welcoming. So uh, how to make outreach so that uh, you can welcome newcomers and expand your community. So he here are the some good points. Like we uh, started with the first timers only project. So we labeled uh, each issues with the first time only label, which is basically um, a, well, a special type of issue uh, that uh, very newcomers like uh, who don't have even contributed to open source can take up. And here is a uh, sample uh, a first timers only issue. So I want, just want to tell that this first timers only tag uh, is a special tag and a yeah, Twitter bot is there which tweets about all the issues met with this first timers only. And we uh, followed a break me up technique that is breaking out larger issues into smaller ones so that newcomers can uh, approach uh, each part of the issue. And this this is the most important part, collaborate with like-minded projects. Like there is a website called First Timers Only and Up for Grabs that helps uh, first timers to find new projects uh, which is welcoming to them. And say thanks. Like whenever you try to merge a pull request, say, th say thanks and take some time even you can tweet to them and participate. There are some uh, cool projects, uh, uh, events like Go Son of Code, uh, Rails Girl Son of Code and Outreachy. Do participate in them and just expand your projects. Here are some stats like uh, how we have reached so, m so, so many contributors within a ex few span of months, within like one year. Thank you. Any questions? Okay.